So we're gonna make it happen quick. Someone blows off the bat. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a lot of things going on and uh, we're swapping my cousin's car. Unfortunately, my cousin did this off camera and by himself in the middle of the night, like four in the morning, right? And I did not get to record this for you guys, but the engine that he rebuilt on Friendsgiving is here and um, it's gonna be put into his brother's car because um, the original game plan was to Rebuild this short block, throw it in this car, and turbo this car. Originally, we were going to boost the uh, stock LSs in there now, but uh, the motor is smoking pretty bad. So, um, he ditched the idea of uh, wanting to put this into his four-door. Instead, he's going to run his stock LS VTEC at the track uh, opening season, and then we're going to throw this in his brother's car, and then I got to finish the turbo kit, and then we'll turbo it as well, too, so we can have him out there. We were supposed to do Ricky's four-door uh, B20V today, but I kind of want to make that his own video, so we may be doing that tomorrow. Um, sure. But this motor, we're going to try to pull it out, swap everything we need from here, slap it on there. I just so happen to have a set of LS and B20 ARPs from my last setup in the CRX, so we're going to slap that on as well. I'm doing the oil pan gasket, and uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because we're swapping out for picks. Um, oil pan because he has a bung on it he has a moroso on his new motor and uh, i spent like maybe an hour and a half cleaning the pickup because guy over there failed to clean it whoa whoa granted he lives in an apartment so he can't really use like a lot of detergent and stuff to stink up the place to clean it so lucky for me i checked it and uh, now it's all nice and clean you can't see that either but I'm about to slap the oil pan back on with the new gasket and then give these guys a hand pulling that motor out. So we're using a Felpro gasket. It's not a real high-end built motor, um, but I'm gonna run this dry, no RTV whatsoever. I've never ran RTV unless it's like really need it. I've never had an issue running no RTV. All my engines that I've assembled or uh, did like bungs for turbo cars um, does not have a leak issue, but you guys can fight in the comment section below and let me know how you guys apply your uh, oil pan gasket. But I'm running these dry, so this is all ready to go on. Let me show you the way. This car is going to retain the AC system, and uh, we're going to turbo it with the AC system. Stock LS head with uh, head bolts, which I am putting on now. And the block, again, Nippon turbo pistons with a scat rod combo with the ACL pump, all new bearings, all new seals. And uh, we're hoping that this is going to work out all motor first. And if it does, we'll finish the turbo kit and we'll show you guys the installation on that as well too. All these guys got to do right now is drop the front cross member. We're going to pull the head off. So that way we don't have to jack the car up super high to um, bring the motor out underneath. You guys know on the channel by now. We pull engines from underneath and not with a crane, which uh, it's it's a lot easier and I don't want the crane to go up and tear into my tarp. So, it's almost there. And then we're just waiting on Carrick for the clutch, right? He has a clutch? Uh, he should be coming soon. Yeah, Kerr. so, so Carrick has a uh, stage four clutch, six puck, which is gonna be uh, going in here as well too, so we can handle some boost. Um, but aside from that, I'm gonna install these suckers real quick. It's important that when you're doing the head studs for the LS and V20 non VTEC setup, that the two center long bolts, which is this guy right here, goes in the center. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's two different sizes. You can see right here, this is the longer one. Goes in the middle. Don't mix them up. I don't know if you guys can see it right here in cylinder number one. There are some like scoring on the cylinder wall. You can catch that with your fingernail. Probably where it's blowing smoke through, but regardless of that, everything looks good under here. Even the head gasket looks all right. So the head is now out. Uh, we just realized that the exhaust system is freaking welded to the header, and the engine has to come out from underneath. So we're probably gonna have to pull the whole exhaust system out just to avoid having to cut that, which is not a big deal. Engine comes out, and then we can swap all the stuff <laughs> like the motor mount, the post mount, everything for the DA uh, over here. That motor does have new water pump time belt, so we're gonna swap all of that as well. And we're going to be reusing the head and cleaning it a little bit. Um, it didn't blow a head gasket, so the head should not need a resurface. Other than that, uh, studs are on right there. And uh, progress. Just so we didn't get stopped on our tracks, 
I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna cut the uh, header off the, the flex pipe, the exhaust system, because the muffler shop did some booty stuff like this. Good old fashioned underneath the car with a miniature dolly, because I don't have the big one available right now, but you know what, this is gonna work. Make sure it clears on it. So much easier without the cylinder head, because uh, we don't have to jack up the car super high. How I jack the car up super high anyways is to go right down under the uh, shift linkage with a big brick to lift it up super high, but what's it hitting? Motor mount. Oh, we're maxed? Yep. Uh, Let's take out the motor mount. No, go out to the side. Slide, slide straight out. The beautiful part about having a Gorilla Pod, shove it into my shirt and get a chest cam view. How about that? Bro, I shot this shit out with my driver. Not even an impact. This boy. Woo! This thing works cherry. What does Kyle do? A couple ug uggas. That should be aight. You wanna take a bet right now? What? Make a bet on how much horsepower is gonna make on your car? Bro, spooling mini ram. GTX 3582R built sleep block 10 0 compression 10 0 compression stock head GSR cams 20 psi nigga what the fuck it'll do it you you looking for 400 on 20 psi you ain't fun you can do it at like hey let me tell you, you right now for 400 on 20 psi if I if I get more than that I'm, I'm hey happy. you know what 20 pounds E85 on your motor gonna do right. Nigga, like I, my compression is a 921, you have a 10 oh, you're talking 20 PSI? I did it on 15. 20 pounds on your motor with that turbo? If you have supporting fucking injectors, you're probably gonna be close to five, five plus. Oh, felt 20 it. 20 pounds. Now, nah, we're not gonna go crazy with Tiger's car. He, he's too new to uh, power anything over 200 horsepower, so. <laughs> I, I gotta get a feel for it. Bro, I never if felt Joe more. went 13.5 with 200 This fool started shaking when he tuned his car at 200, what, 260? What'd you make? 238? 238? Yeah. He was already scared with 238. I'm not sure if no, he's ready for like 500 horsepower. No. Now you want to double your power? I don't know. I, I feel like... <laughs> Anyways, guys. So right now, it's a waiting game because we're waiting for one of our buddies that has a clutch. He's still at work and we don't know how long he's going to take to get here after he gets off of work. So, um, it is what it is. Right now, we are done with swapping everything over. We have the alternator. We have the oil pressure sensor. Honda filter. Um, all the hoses got the belt got the post mount. Uh, I have a brand new Gates belt right here Which came out of that when I was uh, stock B20 before the B20 VTEC, which then I swapped over to GSR stuff and uh, The only thing we can do right now is we're gonna clean all the tools We're gonna clean everything here off the table get that head ready to swap on here But we're probably gonna do that in the car for stability wise and also not having to jack up the car super high to clear a cylinder head It's gonna sit about yay. So um, other than that Pull the uh, motor off the stand, slap the flywheel on, and just kind of have this ready to go back into the car. So we're definitely going to get this um, running tonight. So don't worry, guys. I won't leave you all hanging, but cleanup time. Guys, it just started pouring, like, out of the blue, and we had to, like, shove everything to the side and, you know, kind of get it all away from the rain. So right now we were just kind of... I fidgeting around with this block because we're still waiting for a clutch and I was just checking ring gap on the NPR set that I have and also a set of Wisco's way out of spec for this block and we noticed that there's a crack right here I don't know if the camera can see that but there's a crack right there right here and it separated the outer sleeve right here but <laughs> hey but it still runs <laughs> it just it chewed running. it a little bit but it was running it was running if you guys don't know, uh, this is my cousin Alan. Hold on, let me let me focus. Took a break or what? Took a break? Nah, nah, nah. The focus, nah, nah. Style, the focus bro. Okay, so that's my cousin Alim, right? He owns this DB1 Integra that you guys always see in the storage. And then this is Ricky. Ricky drives that white one back there. And uh, you guys have been asking for the DB1 content. And when this car's gonna come out of storage, well, here you go. And that was the motor that came out of it. So, again, we're waiting for the clutch. And then we can put the clutch on this motor, slide this under the car, and then slap the head back on with the new head gasket and head studs. And then we can button up the rest of this car. Still hoping, still shooting to turn this car on tonight, guys. So, we're, we're staying very hopeful. Right? 
Yes, sir, yes, sir. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Hey, hey, let me see those. That junker score, right? Yeah, look at that. One piece headlight in very, very clean condition. All tabs are there. I mean, missing the small grommets, but that's not a big deal. Sand it down, give it a good clear. Hey, came up what? Came up. How much? $80. Ooh! So while we were waiting for the clutch, I tapped Ricky's head. And uh, everything is golden here. Just got to deburr it a little bit. Probably use some like Teflon or RTV or something on there to ensure it ain't going to back out or lead through that fine thread. And since he just showed up, he showed up and now we got a clutch. Right here. Brand spanking used. Oh. Oh, it's used. Oh, Paco, this is your old clutch from the B20V? Hey, this right here was out of a, what was an all-motor setup. It was never boosted. Yeah, so this right here will do the job. And, um, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if you end up burning this one out too, shh, we got that stock clutch we can throw in there. No big deal, right? Now, now we can proceed, guys. It's only about... 720 right now or something like that it's still early oh, in the day it's still pretty early it's still, still the daytime <laughs> tow hook jack it up jack sands out drop the car down align the motor mounts and everything else should be a breeze so me and papa got started raining again which is kind of weird this Dude, weather just passed, it just passed again. the fucking rain just passed again what up we got a whole team going on. You got Ricky on the driver's side, got Daniel on the passenger, you got Alan in the bay. And I got the uh, head kind of tilted right now to get all the oil to drip down. And trying to get this as much, like, trying to get this as dry as possible. And then um, once they're all done and ready here, take all that out, lubricate the studs, install the head. And I'll be one bigger step closer to finishing this car up. Shimmy. Shimmy on the dalpin. Make sure it sits down. Let me see this one. Flush. Double check. It's flush. It's oh, cool. Yeah. Hey, orderly. <laughs> I'm too much. He's starting to be like them. Oh, the plug colors are also out of whack. I don't know where to go. Sorry, you know. Damn, hella fast forward guys. We are yeah. practically done. And right now we're running the uh, first set of oil for break-in period. And what I got to do right now is go underneath the car to weld the exhaust up because it is like 11 o'clock right now. And uh, aside from that, broke this sucker. So we need a new one, which is not a big deal because he's doing VTEC head tomorrow. So he's going to have his. He has the same valve cover with the uh, PVC or PCV, whatever, uh, whatever is supposed to go in there. And... <laughs> Yeah, other than that, we're gonna prime the uh, car and uh, like not not uh, turn it on. We take out the injectors, the distributor, and all that. Prime it. We're probably gonna do a compression test to see kind of where it's at. Brought it down. Ready. Go. 
auto off. And just crank it a couple more times. I think we're ready. Pressure looks good. Mm. 180. Sounds good. Let's take the pressure. 180, boy. Yeesh. On a cold start. Nice. I don't know how excited are you. 1 to 20. Bien uh, Nervous. Nervous? I'm really nervous. But I have faith in my brother, so. Hell yeah. We all do. This, guys, is going to be the first start of the engine rebuild done by Daniel. I'm going to prime it real quick. And, uh, here we go. That exhaust job, though. Yes, sir. Hey, don't need more valve blast. Hey, timing gun, if you want. We can get that timing gun out here and get that timing on point. All right, guys. So we had some crazy idle surge earlier, and uh, we took this off of Ricky's car for now to try this. And um, the idle was actually because the car was 30 degrees off. For the sake of me, I couldn't get this teeth to be aligned with this guy. It was like half a tooth off for some reason. And uh, aftermarket distributor, we checked timing with the distributor all the way back. It was at 30 degrees. But Daniel had the timing light. We hooked it up and uh, we were able to pull the distributor all the way forward and get it to 16 degrees, which is awesome. And the car is sounding a ton better. Second drive, guys. Second drive. doesn't have any type of hesitation it's smooth it's not jerky no check engine light obviously <laughs> just need a back motor mount yeah that's about it you can feel it right oh yeah on deep acceleration like hard acceleration you'll feel the motor rock a little bit it's got the motor it's got the, the the motor mount insert on the passenger driver but it doesn't have the back so damn guys i forgot to show you this a little earlier I, I uh, went to San Francisco yesterday, pick up these NTL ones with maybe like two track days on it. A lot of meat left, 225, 45, 15, all four for 150 bucks. And uh, these were the QAs that I got from the junkyard. If you guys don't remember, I only brought one today because I wanted to clean all the orange spray that was on it. And I was able to, you can see how clean it is, right? And got one of the tire mounted. So I'm pretty stoked. This right here, I'm probably gonna keep for the new build new build guys but we are back here on the driveway car is pretty much ready to rock and roll i just drove it it feels really smooth tomorrow we're going to be doing the b20 vtech on ricky's car so y'all stay posted for that be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys can do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up for daniel for this engine rebuild because today his ability to do so has turned out very successful and also how, how happy are you, man? Scale of one through ten. <laughs> one through twenty million, bro. Yeah, like I give, you, I give this shit eleven. Man. Eleven, bro. I'm sure he's pretty stoked, man, because this engine, shit, we didn't even know how long he had that damn crack in him. But that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. I want to thank y'all for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.